is uh, what is streaming api so uh, as we know we have a uh, lots of api in uh, salesforce we have a rest api we have swap api so uh, all have we, uh, have been used to uh, for a different purpose so similarly streaming api used to uh, get a event note to send and receive a event notification in a real time so uh, it enables us to uh, streaming of uh, event notification uh, using push technology and provide a subscription mechanism for uh, receiving that event in a real time so uh, it maintains a persistent connection that uh, continuously sends an uh, updated data until the uh, connection is terminated so uh, it is mostly used when uh, we need to consume a constant flow of uh, live data. So uh, we can say uh, real time data. So by using this uh, streaming API, we can uh, send and receive even notification within a Salesforce platform, or we can uh, send uh, even notification from a Salesforce to external app or from external application to Salesforce. So uh, let's understand this uh, by using uh, use case. So uh, let's suppose uh, we want a uh, live tracking of uh, flight actual route. So here uh, the flight actual uh, location uh, keeps changing in every interval of time. So if we want to uh, get the current location of a flight, so we uh, never use, uh, every time we never uh, request a server to get the data, updated data. So instead of that, we use a streaming API so uh, once we uh, request that uh, data for, uh, from the server, so once uh, the server have available the uh, updated data, it will send it to the client automatically. So uh, here we uh, don't need to uh, request every time to get uh, updated data in a real time. So uh, let's understand its uh, technology and the uh, streaming API. So whenever we connect the uh, server and uh, client, so we have a two types of technology, push technology and pull technology. So in pull technology, uh, we need to, uh, client needs to uh, request data from the server periodically and keep asking from server that is data is available or not. So here uh, in pull technology, we need to, uh, we make a, uh, may have a chance that we make a excessive call to a server and maybe a server maybe uh, slow down. So then we have a push technology. By using uh, push technology, we can uh, subscribe to a uh, server once, and whenever the uh, data is available at the server side, it will automatically send in the, to the client side. Let's uh, understand by this uh, diagram. So let's understand, uh, let's assume that this event consumer is a client. So, and we have a, this event bus. In event bus, uh, we have a channels. So we need to subscribe this channel so uh, uh, multiple clients have to subscribe this channel and whenever the data is available at the client uh, the server side it will publish the data to this client and as soon as we get that data it will uh, automatically get at the client side so uh, we this event bus also store the data for a uh, fast event notification like uh, we can uh, that suppose a uh, client may be terminated due to some uh, network issue or something. So we can uh, reconnect and we that, uh, retrieve that uh, uh, previous data from this uh, event bus. So uh, we have some, uh, so this uh, uh, push technology is also called as uh, public subscribe model. So to enable this uh, public subscribe model, uh, we need an active connection between a uh, client and server. So to make our connection active, so uh, we have a two concepts. We have a short polling and long polling. In a short polling, a client keeps sends a request to make a connect connection active. So uh, in every interval of time, client keeps sending a request and uh, keep asking that uh, data is available or not. And if the data is available, it will send that data. And if the uh, so, uh, data is not available at the server side, it will send an empty data. So here only uh, also uh, it will uh, uh, keep the uh, request and uh, to make an active connection regularly. So it will also uses a lot of resources. So to reduce this uh, lot of resources, we have a long polling concept. So in long polling, uh, 
client uh, send a request to a server once and server holds that request and wait until the data is available so as soon as the uh, data is available at the client side and the server side and server push that data so we will uh, get that data at the client side so uh, to use this uh, streaming api uh, streaming api uses this uh, bx protocol and comedy connection to for a long pooling so uh, bx protocol is a protocol for transmitting uh, asynchronous messages primarily over the http and with low latency between a uh, client and server and comedy is a scalable http based event routing bus which uses ajax push technology so it implements this uh, bx protocol and uh, in uh, salesforce we have a lightning emp api uh, module which uses this comedy connection to subscribe all kinds of events and to subscribe this uh, uh, all kinds of even in external application we need to implement this uh, comedy so uh, this comedy is responsible for uh, maintaining a connection and enables the uh, server to uh, push the data to the client so uh, let's understand how the client connects so uh, whenever uh, we need a uh, client needs a uh, data from the server so uh, whenever subscribe to a particular channel so this uh, comedy sends an handshaking request to the server and after the successful handshaking uh, the custom listener on a meta handshake channel send a subscription request to the channel to get that uh, data from the server so this uh, comedy maintain a connection by using long pooling concept so every time uh, whenever the data is available and publish the data uh, server push uh, publish the data from the server it will uh, send uh, response as to the client so uh, in streaming api we have four types of streaming api events so we have a uh, generic and push topic events uh, which are uh, known as first generation events which uh, because uh, this was introduced earlier then we have a platform events and second uh, chain data capture uh, it is called uh, known as uh, second generation events because it provides more flexibility in terms of publish and subscribe events uh, by using fx triggers flows and process filter and etc and it have also uh, more enhanced security so uh, let's understand one by one so first one is uh, generic events so generic events enables us to uh, send customized notification that are uh, not uh, not tied to any uh, salesforce data changes so uh, we can uh, send uh, the data from the server in the form of json and we primarily use this generic events when we want to send an event notification to particular user so we have to uh, specify the user id in the json and it will only uh, send a uh, customer notification to particular uh, user only so then we have a push topic events so this uh, push topic events provide a secure and scalable way to receive events for uh, salesforce data changes so uh, for push uh, topic events you need to uh, specify the sql query so uh, what are the fields that are included in a uh, sql query then only uh, if the uh, field which are specified in sql query are changes and updated so it will uh, automatically send that data to the client side so then we have a second generation uh stream api event which is a uh, change data capture so it is a new version of uh, push topic events so whatever the uh, whenever the salesforce data changes like uh, whenever a record is updated deleted or uh, created so it will automatically send uh, that even notification to a client side so uh, in this change uh, data capture we uh, don't need to specify the uh, sql query like we have to uh, in push topic even we have to subscribe uh, we have to specify the sql query so uh, then we have a platform events so a uh, platform event is a, a new uh, version of uh, generic events so this uh, platform events uh, is used to deliver secure and scalable and customizable notification within the salesforce and or external application 
so uh, whenever for this platform even we need to specify the schema uh, by creating the uh, platform event object and fields so uh, this platform event provide the flexibility to uh, publish the uh, uh, event notification from apex from process builder from flow and by using the salesforce platform api and we can uh, use this uh, subscribe on the platform events from uh, using lightning emp api and by using uh, fx triggers flows and process builders and by uh, for subscribing the uh, platform events from the external app we need to uh, implement that um, base protocol so uh, let's understand how it, uh, how the things are going so uh, to monitor all kinds of uh, events we have a uh, salesforce lab uh, app exchange app which is a streaming monitor so by using this uh, uh, app exchange app we can uh, easily monitor how the uh, process are going on in the any streaming api so uh, to get that uh, the data in a real time first we need to subscribe so i already uh, created one uh, platform events like i created uh, this platform event account event and i uh, take an uh, one field name and whenever we uh, we need to in this uh, for subscribing an event we need to select a custom platform event uh, just select the uh, event name and then we have a replay option so uh, in streaming api we have a concept of replay id so each event message which are having the unique id so which uh, is uh, which is a replay id so by using this replay id we can uh, retrieve uh, past event notification from the event bus so uh, here uh, no replay means uh, we uh, we can get only the new events and here the replay past events means uh, we are uh, we will get past events as well as uh, the new events notification so uh, what they are uh, doing in the back end so uh, so we have this uh, uh, lightning emp api so we need to uh, import this and to subscribe a particular event message we need to call this subscribe method and here we need to specify the replay id here minus 1 uh, means uh, we need to uh, get only uh, new event notification and minus 2 uh, replace uh, specify the we are getting uh, past notification as well as the new ones and we can uh, if we have uh, stored replay id in in our uh, variable and something so we can uh, specify here and uh, to get that uh, particular uh, event notification so uh, here i am getting uh, 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 past and uh, new ones so now uh, as soon as i uh, subscribe to a event it will get all the past event which are published from the server side so uh, i get only the uh, data which are published this is the uh, reply id so past uh, the new events have the higher reply id uh, then the uh, previous ones so to publish uh, this uh, event notification so we need to we can uh, use from here so here we can uh, specify then i can uh, i have take only the name field so i have uh, published that data in, in this field when as soon as i publish this event i will get that data in a at the client side so uh, by using this uh, streaming uh, monitor we can uh, subscribing all kinds of event like push topic generic uh, platform events change data capture and we can also publish events from there and uh, streaming api also provides a facility to uh, uh, publish and subscribe events from the external application also so uh, let's suppose if we uh, subscribe to uh, we have a uh, let's suppose we have a java application and uh, we want to subscribe the platform events from here so first we need to uh, 
set up a EMP connector. So then we have to uh, call this uh, Java EMP connector uh, class to get the data. So for this, just we have to select, uh, we have to provide the credentials for our org and just have to uh, provide the uh, event name. So as soon as I uh, subscribe to a event message, So uh, now the connection has been established between the org and the Java application. So now we can, uh, whenever we push the any, uh, let's suppose if I push this uh, data on a platform event. So as soon as I publish, so I will get that data on a Java application. So in this way, we can also connect the Salesforce and external application. So uh, that's from my side.